Hi everyone, today we're gonna have a sneak peek into a Norwegian woman's uh, handbag and bathroom cabinets. You know, that's a private zone and we have been granted exclusive access to a typical Norwegian woman's private life kind of and we're gonna research the things that we find there and see if they can explain Norway like it is now, you know, because different small things. I'm not sure all of you and many of you have a handbag and have bathroom cabinets. So now you can compare. I don't think uh, she's home. And uh, we have... So you're doing a break in? No, no actually. Uh, we we have, it, have it for herself. She's not home, but... She knows that we are here. And you might ask, why? Why a woman's handbag? Why a bathroom cabinets? Well, you know, in Norway, equality among sexes is one of the most, the most important principles. So this woman, she's 45 year old. She has a child that is 10 year old. Uh, this is her apartment and she is in a relationship with the father but of course they don't live together so here she lives alone with the kid and sometimes the father comes and visit and he has another apartment in another place this is Norway so that's why we are uh, doing just this but why isn't she here? I have children and I'm Norwegian are you the most typical Norwegian ever found? Maybe quite typical. I don't like filming at all. So this you, have to be an anonymous. Yeah. <laughs> you hate this situation. Yes. I get so stiff. She is very typical Norwegian. She works as a school nurse and uh, absolutely typical uh, Norwegian. Now for the peak. Okay. Are you ready guys? <laughs> this is, I, I feel that I'm intruding the private sphere here, you know, I'm not reaching, but we have been granted access. So this is her purse and <laughs> you see it right away, many of you, probably girls or women, that you will ask, is that her purse? Is this a purse? And uh, yes, it's a purse and it's a very sporty purse. You no, see, Gucci. No, no Gucci. No Gucci. This is Fjellreven. You know, a typical Norwegian uh, sport. It's Swedish, of course, but it's a sport uh, outdoorsy brand. At leisure. Uh, yeah, you know, at leisure. So, so she is a part of the trend. She's showing off that she is sporty. She's not showing off her functionality, her flex. You know that. She, she, you know, a mother in Norway, she has to be prepared for a lot of stuff. So this is a functional handbag for her. But actually, I think it's kind of cool, and it's almost unisex. I mean. You could have had it as a boy too. Okay, are you ready to see? So just a second, have you never heard about not looking into a woman's bag? Uh, of course I've heard, but this is a research purpose. This is science, scientific. We're gonna analyze and reveal Norway through this. So yes, I have heard it, and yes, I respect the private sphere, sphere and borders, but this is research. Let's start with this here. Uh, and what do we find here? Okay, here we find a uh, moisturizing cream. And uh, this is a, also a Swedish brand, of course. And this is very typical for Norway. No perfume, no, it's for really dry and sensitive skin. Norwegians, we are not found of too intense smells. And we, most of the creams and stuff we buy are perfume free actually, paraben free. She's got a car, typical. This girl's got the, her own car, okay. Oh, look, a smart, her key is here, easy to, this is also typical, F flexible, pragmatic solution to that everlasting where are my key problems very typical okay what do you have here a pad of course it's apple of course an ipad because norway 
we are an app we are an apple country actually because uh, it's our favorite brand and it's one of the biggest brands and this is actually what we spend a lot of money on not on food not uh, absolutely not on quality food but on quality electronics so very typical okay here we have a drinkle bo drinking bottle because uh, she's got a son so he needs she's always prepared she, of course you have to be prepared you have to need water and Okay, band-aid in case her son uh, uh, gets injured, really important. Okay, so that's, I think this is mandatory. And of course she's got, she's got a mark pocket uh, in case they get hungry. You always carry one. And this is kind of a high quality because it's plastic wrapping and not uh, uh, wax paper. Leveled up. Yeah, absolutely. And speaking about Mart Pakya, yeah, you can see here, uh, this is uh, uh, from our merch shop. Uh, so if you follow the link up there or down in the description, you can see some of the other stuff we have there. I'm quite, I, I kind of like this one. It was like, I, I think it was suited me. Okay. Uh, Okay, and then, well, of course, you can get a headache, a lot of walking outdoors here. Uh, not too much sun, though, but uh, you need some uh, pa paracet or paracet. Okay, <laughs> a tennis ball, probably. <laughs> Does she have a boy or a dog? I'm not sure. <laughs> I know what she has. Yeah, I know too. No. Okay, chewing gum. Oh, the girl. A lot department. of chewing gum. Of course, everything is sugar free. You, sugar is a no-no, at least when you're a mother. Okay, okay here, here we go. have, okay. Let's this see. is, uh, okay, of course, paraben-free. Is this her, this is her lipstick, okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, that yeah. was it. <laughs> yeah. That, no, she's got some fancy cream here. Elizabeth Arden, number eight, I think. I wonder if that's for the lips too. What's this? Now this this probably is the more girlish stuff. Okay, this looks like a wallet. I start oh, I'm with this. Excited. Yeah, this What's is this? a wallet. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this is for the public transportation. <laughs> uh, what's here? Okay, this is a typical when she goes to the to the store. Milk, cream, nuts, chocolate. Non-stop. She's probably she loves to bake, so she's probably going to make a cake. We are more or less a cashless society, so you don't need to bring a lot of cash when visiting Norway. Just bring cards. I mean, all the Nordic countries very, very card and digital, digital payments and card. That's the rule. But here we go. Yeah, what's in here? Uh, this is, is this? so invading. Okay. But it's your research. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> nasal spray, okay. Oh, nasal spray. Yeah. Okay. Oh, a high-end brand. Finally, ESL. I'm not sure what that is. Ooh, <laughs> yeah. At least some uh, some makeup. Is it makeup? Yeah, I think it's for the eyes. Okay. So that we can over there. Oh, what is this? Okay, on the mirror. Um, uh, okay, more makeup. Uh, <laughs> a bit used. Uh, I think this is very difficult to of Norwegian. Uh, uh, pencil? Wood? Yeah, well, <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is the makeup kit, I think. So, girls or women or also men, what do you carry around? Is this, do you, do you recognize this? Can you identify with this kind of makeup stuff? You know, we love all the things that you share with us, so please uh, uh, subscribe and post us your comments or stories or everything. Thumbs up, thumbs down, we love it. Okay, there's a one thing too. I think this is for uh, her period, a tampoo or something. like. It was kind of, well, where did you put that? Maybe over here. And for nails, I think, okay. Oh, I had some dirt under my nails. I guess. Yeah, yeah no. sorry, I can't use that. Yeah. So, okay. Well, <laughs> this this is actually a, a typical woman's purse in Norway. What do you think? 
can you identify was this uh, the th things that you thought was going to be inside? Uh, I think this kind of is Norway. Practical, be prepared, be outdoorsy, independent woman. Uh, the most expensive things here are electronics. When it comes to makeup and stuff, not so much. Frugal makeup, frugal makeup uh, kit actually. Yeah, you know, and sporty handbag with uh, smart solutions. Nah. This is actually a typical, typical, typical. I think this is kind of the picture of Norway, if you see here. And now, a Norwegian bathroom cabinet. Do you have a hanger up on toilets? Uh, <laughs> well, well, it's a at least that is a universal thing. The, the, the girl or the woman living here, she is a vintage uh, beast, actually. I know her, I've known her for a long time and she knows her vintage. So, <laughs> her bathroom cabinet <laughs> is, of course, an old, uh, what do you call this? Yeah, a box in <laughs> a, a way. Wooden box. Wooden yeah, box. I... But this is more or less the same. The toothpaste, also for sensitive. This is a sensitive. We are very occupied with sensitive stuff. It's not feminine. No, but this is Norway. I mean, actually, you, most the most sold uh, products uh, are without perfume. But here, guys, <laughs> this is uh, really this is Norwegian uh, uh, skincare. The original, it's been here for 200 years, I think, and actually this was used on cows to make their, uh, oh, and I don't know the... I, I will text it. Yeah, it's, uh, it's yeah, called Jude. Jude in Norwegian, you know th where the milk comes from. Uh, and this was actually made for to moisturize this area in the cow. So you could milk it. Yeah, and now it's the most sold uh, skincare product, I think, in Norway. Without, and of course, no perfume. It's called Spenol. And you know, a Spene is one of those that you, you get milk from. So it's, it's really strange. It's a, it's a skincare product with a name from a cow's breath. So, what we have here, okay. Use toilet rolls, what, why? Uh, actually, the kid in this family, he wants them for a school project. So she told me in advance that this is something she has to uh, collect so that he can make something later on from it. So this is interesting. It's such a small bathroom and uh, the priority is the kids stuff. But you know guys, in Norway, kids have the main priority. You know that by now, don't you? Okay, more empty toilet rolls. Wow, yeah. two drawers. Yeah, two drawers. Okay, here's the washing machine, the powder to the washing machine. And okay, What's the brand name? It's called Neutral. And why is it called Neutral? Because there's no perfume and there's no color uh, stuff added. Oh, hoo -hoo. it's a revolution. There are perfumes in this Norwegian woman's closet. This is, I think, and I, okay. I, I'm not sure there's no brand on it. It's not used. N almost not. <laughs> and here, it's probably a gift. And Versace blue jeans. I think this is for men. Okay, but okay. So she has some. Okay. Yeah. Oh, the Lancome and so on. Okay. Perfume exists in Norway. It's kind of also a part of this woman. But she. It was strange because she had placed everything all the way down in here. Okay, guys. Do you do you love to do this sneak peek into someone else's? Uh, bathroom cabinet? I'm sure you do. Leave uh, a yeah, post us your comment, subscribe, you know, we love them. What's more down here? What's this? Uh, <laughs> what? It's cement. Cement? I'm not sure. It looks like cement. Really? Strange. Ah, very strange. Uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, it's true. It looks like cement. What is this? Okay, okay. 
Uh, Norwegian women are very handy actually. <laughs> I think that many Norwegian women are more handy than the men. That's right. And I think actually this is also typical. And what does she have in her bathroom cabinet? She's got silicone and stuff for the tiles here and to redecorate her home. And that's why I think she actually had cement in her bathroom cabinet. No, she, she's using the storage for, for Norwegian apartments are not that big. So we yeah. store everything. Yeah, we store, yeah. But the, I think this is also very typical. Handy Norwegian women, they don't sit around waiting for a man to fix things that are broken. They do it themselves. And I know that this girl or this woman here she's extremely handy and if I have a problem I need something to fix I will definitely call her I think and of course we have a bath wait this here is very common. yeah it's a scale yeah I'm not uh, revealing my... Uh, <laughs> yeah, come on! No, no, no! Oh, come on! Uh, no, no! I think no. everyone wants to know it! And some... Yeah, no. <laughs> Just oh, look. fast forward! Yeah, fast yeah, forward. I don't know. Look, look! It's almost our uh, uh, reindeer logo! Uh, yeah. yeah! With the Norwegian flag on it! Yeah, it is! Yeah! Uh, okay, guys, I think that we wrapped this up. This was uh, the revealing tour, the Norwegian purse, handbag and a bathroom cabinet. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something about Norway, the Norwegian life, Norwegian women and the culture. Okay, so if you liked this episode, don't forget to give a thumb up, thumb down, subscribe, post us your comment. And for the next episode, uh, see you. I I'm not sure if it's gonna be any more toilet in a while now. Yeah, people love the No, well, I, I feel that we have emptied the content oh, from no, a toilet. No, no, At no, least no. for now, guys. It what do you think? No, yeah, it's okay. And it's really hot in this toilet. Okay, see you for next time. Uh, check out our merch shop. Love you guys. Bye bye.